In random moments, I'm often struck with a worthwhile existential crisis. Why am I spending time in the world of occultism and magic? For many, this question arises later in our devotions, and today I plan to ask some serious questions along with provide some less obscure answers to the dilemma overall. Join me in this pursuit and let's ask ourselves said question, why do we do magic? If it isn't to gain anything in particular like finances, or seeking to remove someone from our lives, then what real goal is there? To many today, there is a penultimate practice which is that overwhelming experience of knowledge and conversation with the Holy Guardian Angel, or HGA. To clarify, after an arduous magical journey, or as some argue simple luck, it is believed that you will evoke your mysterious HGA and be granted knowledge of yourself and your divine purpose. And then after the journey, you will be free to begin your life's purpose. I've met a strong handful of people who claim KNC, or knowledge and conversation, and met a variety more that aspire to it, but were met with a bit of a conundrum. Magical arts appear given this particular stance and view, to seek to satisfy that longing desire for purpose, for what else is really given to a person in this moment. I mean, just think about it. The work of magic is to know one's life work, and then to go and do it. It presupposes that we have a divine duty, a reason for incarnation, that is apparent to the initiated. I couldn't agree more, and I really couldn't agree less, given my mood. The events of KNC seems to write holy books, or steer the mind of an individual towards of greatness through devotion to a singular purpose, or rectify the falling person by way of bliss and a sensational act upon the egotistical inclination to have meaning at all. It begs the question, who said we have any divine purpose at all? Far too often when I meet those who claim KNC their purpose is simply promulgation which in turn could foster a seeking of the HGA for others, a truth speaker, or oracle, if you will, of significance towards this end, and nothing more. Which is, as far as I'm concerned, ultimately not a purpose at all, but a duty. Therefore, I find all those who act, those who follow the guidance of their mind and aspirations, to be in accordance with will, because who's to say that they aren't? On one hand, we are tasked to be in accordance with divine will, but to many extents of the argument we should question whether or not someone is actually out of alignment. For who could possibly stand out of alignment with a divine will, ultimately? Expressions of love, of course I mean this in the esoteric sense, exist plentifully amidst the world and seem to need no knowledge and conversation to thereby exist. So what do those individuals seek to obtain through K and C? appearing as if to have already had such a revelation beyond their own knowing. 